Uh. <clears throat> hey guys. So it's the twelfth uh, and the eleventh. I told you guys I was probably gonna go live. I went to bed. I felt pretty bad. So I went to bed, took a nap all night. Feel much better. Uh, kind of got a little head cold. So I'd rather have been uh, sleeping than trying to fight this thing all night. So that's what I did. But uh, in the meantime. I uh, I'm ready to do another test. Um, <clears throat> I know some of you are, were worried about tethering this. I've got a small string attached. There really wasn't that much pressure there as far as um, because of this hose was connected and everything. I got a lot less water here as well, or air I mean. Uh, HHO will be in there I guess. But uh, anyway, so I got this set up again. I'm going to uh, kind of cover this thing up so that when things do go pop, if they go pop, it won't be as uh, as wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll plug this in somewhere. And uh, this is gonna be some good footage. Me running around doing random things. All right, so we're off. Um, I got probably got a little bit too much air in this tube, but. Uh, that's okay. I did add just a little bit of salt, uh, mainly to get my amperage up high enough to where my circuit can handle it. Um, my voltage is extremely low. It's like the higher the amps went, the lower the volts went. So I don't know if I'm overpowering that little transformer or what, but uh, well, that's all right. So anyway, I'll get this set up, and I'm gonna let this air bleed out. I'll show you my, my torch here. Show you what I got. And uh, I know some of you were worried about my safety, and that was kind of you. But I'm not dealing with extreme, extremely big amounts of uh, HHO here, so I'm not compressing it. I'm not doing anything like that, so I'm not too worried, to be honest with you. I feel pretty safe about this one. All right, so I've got two. This thing just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I know it's pretty ugly, but. It's just what I could find to put together. So I've got two battery vent caps in here. They are different. They're a little bit bigger. Um, and they're a little bit, uh, they're just a little bit different. Now, I really don't think I have enough flow coming out of my HHO generator there to, uh, to actually produce a nice flame off of this big of a torch head. It's kind of hard to see, but it is a pretty big torch head. Um, so, so really this is more or less flashback tests. Now, for those of you who remember, uh, you've uh, watched my videos for a long time, you know exactly what this is. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead. This is a, a authentic World War II helmet. I told you guys I was going to wear this when I did this stuff, so what the heck. I'll do it. Uh oh. Smoking. Plastic's getting a little hot. Might have been my rectifier. Oh! We're done. Burn my rectifier up. Oh, my transformer. Well, cancel that there. Oh, well, <clears throat> I was going to fix some things this morning before I did this test. I didn't. Smoke my uh, rectifier. It's all good. I got my battery charger and some batteries hooked up. No problem. So, in that case, we'll get ready for this. I want to try to get this hose in here this time in case we do have a flashback. That was pretty crazy. Alrighty then. Flashback arrest tester. Uh, how's that? Let's see what you hear some more. Looks like everything's good. All right. There we go. Three, two, one. Yeah. That worked good. 
So there you go. Uh, nothing hit nothing. I say we uh, I say we do it again. Barely get this on here. See my smoke coming out of there from whatever that just popped. Ooh. Looks like oh it's some batteries over there. Maybe. Alright, so uh, we'll do it again. Because I'm guaranteed that that's going to happen again. So, uh, try to get this whole thing in the shot. See if we can't get a really, really cool photo here. Let's see. Wait, wait. If I like that, guys? Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> good times, guys, good times. I know I probably shouldn't be laughing at the fact that I'm doing this for fun, but what can I say? It's pretty fun. I got all my safeties built in. All right. I'm going to turn everything off here. Let's see. Battery charger and that. I need to rebuild my circuit. So obviously, we're making some uh, good amount of gas, that's for sure. And uh, the uh, string attachment seems to work pretty well. I wish I could replay this stuff in uh, actual slow-mo, but I can't. And I think I hit my thing on the floor there and bent it a little. But uh, all is well. Um, everybody's safe and sound still. Still got my batteries with the... Surprisingly, the water didn't splash this time. I think I had a lot, uh, too little bit of water. Looks like my tubes are uh, just fine. They don't look, they don't look messed up at all. I think I had too much air in here last time. Not enough, not enough water. So yeah, there you guys go. Um, now, what I'm going to do, whoa, break the camera. I'm actually going to go, uh, well, I'm going to go figure out this footage, bring this thing inside or else everything's going to freeze. And uh, then I'd like to wrap some EPG coils this week. So um, I will be going live this week here and there. Um, I have a lot more time this week um, as far as doing what I want when I want. But as far as time in general, eh, kind of slim. So. Yeah, um, it's cold out here. I'm going to go inside. I'm freezing and uh, bring this thing in there because it's going to be freezing. Some of you asked me what camera I'm using. It is a Panasonic HDC-TM90. Very, very uh, wonderful donation. And uh, it's uh, those types of donations that get all of you help. Now, a lot of you didn't notice this last time. But this right here actually fell from the ceiling and uh, it was just sitting up there it's actually for when I back in here and uh, it fell out of there out of that old footage and you guys out of the last video you guys didn't even see it it's hilarious nobody noticed it it like wasn't there and then boom and it was there you guys are too entertained with the explosion so all right well let's go see if I captured some good flashbacks on this camera and uh, play safe guys um, I wouldn't be doing this unless I thought I was gonna be okay doing it um, that's just stupid to be playing around with this stuff and not really knowing what's going on. So I feel pretty confident in my, uh, abilities to stay safe. Um, so be safe, play safe. It's freezing. Woo! All right, going inside. Peace out, guys. Peace and love to you all. Thank you for your support. Grease Petty Research here. Some more stuff coming to you with, uh, with that aspect of this. And, uh. Yeah. Word, I'm going to leave you guys go. Peace. See ya.
Uh, anyway, so, I know you guys are kind of interested in what's inside my little flashback arrestor and how I made it. So, I'm going to show you. So, uh, yeah, let's set this thing down and uh, see what we got. So, right now, these two items were together, like so. Alright, inside here, I have an O-ring. Alright. And then, this O-ring, there's a battery vent cap. They smell bad, like they got burnt. That one obviously got burnt. And, uh, O-ring to be compressed against the edge of this here washers just to hold the two together and then o-ring on the other side so it's very possible that it blew around these o-rings I wouldn't doubt it at all if it did but uh, yeah uh, you can see that actually burnt down this is why I want to use ceramic that's why I don't want to use plastic All right, I'm very confident that this would work but uh, this plastic just this ain't gonna work right. Plus, I don't have these glued in there. I just had them in there with these O-rings and compression. So it's very likely it blew right around it. And uh, by the looks of this, you can see the flame front like went around it. See how brown it is in there? Shouldn't have been like that. That brown is this plastic that was burning. So anyway, the first compression between that end of that torch head and here probably blew it back to where these o-rings bled around and then it just went on around but that's that's my guess anyway but uh, I don't really know so anyway there you go just want to show you what that was made out of uh, I guess Let's see <laughs>